Hi everyone! Welcome back to my part two of Will Microwaved Water Kill Your House Plants? Please watch part one. I go into much greater detail about why I started this experiment in the first place. On April 11th, as you can see, I started off with a very, very healthy and well-established spider plant. I wanted to make sure that I didn't start off with an already established plant that I bought from the nursery and perhaps if the plant died from my, the microwaved water, um, someone might say that the plant was diseased. So I did it this way. I cut off a shoot or a baby, if you want to call it, from a very healthy spider plant. And I put the roots in a plastic, clear plastic cup of water in the sun so that the roots would grow for repotting. On April 28th, 17 days later, as you can see, the roots had really grown well and it was time to repot. I put the plot in uh, miracle grow potting soil. That's my favorite potting soil. And I put it outside. At that time on April 28th, the weather was nice and um, we had almost daily rain, a little bit of rain. So I let it stay outside and get the rain water. I wanted the plant to be extremely established before I started the microwaving. On May 3rd, five days later, I noticed a bit of shock from the repotting. It had one droopy leaf and one was getting just a little little bit brown. Um, nothing major. I had normal repotting shock. I did notice that some of the leaves inside looked very healthy and fresh and almost like Possibly there might have been more leaves coming up in the center. At this time, it was still outside and only getting rainwater. Excuse me for turning the page. You're going to hear this. Oops, sorry. On May 9th, I brought the plant inside in the sunroom and started to give it uh, well water only. And the reason I did this, I brought it inside and gave it well water only, is because I had planned on starting the microwave, giving it microwave water in about three weeks. And I wanted, didn't want it to have any kind of shock now from going outside, getting rainwater, to coming inside um, and getting well water only. So I wanted it to make sure that in every scenario possible, the plant didn't have any shock before the well water, the microwave water started. On May 16th, as you can see, um, the plant was getting its well water and um, it looked like it was getting more growth in the center, new growth. On May 27th, 11 days later, the plant had been in my sunroom and was getting well water only. And now there was actually a new shoot with some buds on it. So I thought it was probably going to be flowering after this. Now on May 27th, from April 3rd to May 27th, we went from a baby plant to repotting it to having the plant thriving um, and getting a new shoot with buds for flowers. At this point, I felt confident that the plant was well established and thriving. So on May 29th, I microwaved two cups of water, about maybe a minute and a half to two minutes on high. It didn't boil at this point, but it was extremely hot, maybe almost, maybe almost to the boiling point. I let the water cool down completely, of course, before I gave it to the plant or else it would have killed the plant being so hot. So it cooled down completely to room temperature 
and I watered the plant on May 29th with its first two cups of cooled down microwave water. At this point, it had, I did not let it go outside unless I was right there with it, you know, home, I should say. <clears throat> and um, I didn't let it get any, not one drop of rainwater until the end of the experiment, which was about July 6th, 7th, I ended my experiment. It had microwaved water only, two cups at a time, no well water, no rainwater. On June 7th, the plant got its second, two cups of microwaved water. As you can see, it's still doing well. And the new shoot looks like it will flower soon. On June 15th, the plant now actually has little white flowers on it. So I gave it two more cups of water on June 15th of microwave water. And on June 24th, nine days later, the plant has actually another new shoot coming up. So there's two shoots. And um, one of them is actually flowering with little white flowers. And I gave it two more cups of microwaved water on June 24th. On July 1st, I gave it its last two cups of microwaved water. I noticed on July 1st that there was actually a little baby plant on the end of the first shoot. So this proves that it was not only thriving, but the plant was starting to reproduce. So I would say that reproduction is a good sign that the plant is thriving and very healthy. So this is the end of the experiment. I didn't know what to expect, but as you can see, from over a month, almost a month and a half of microwaved water only, the plant did not die and was actually thriving. It's the end of the experiment. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye, everyone.